Hey friends, so I had a comment here recently by Anders Gustafsson. I hope I said that right. And so he was just making a comment on my little um, stuff I was talking about while playing. So uh, was, he wrote quite a bit. So I try to answer all comments. Um, you guys take the time to write. So as far as it is possible with me, I try to respond to everything. Um, one thing I know, like sometimes you guys uh, respond to a comment that I wrote, and I don't get YouTube notifications for that. So I just thought I'd let you guys know I'm not ignoring anybody. Um, I just don't get notified. I don't know why. So if you do make a comment on a, one of my comments, if you reply to my comments, I don't know it unless I happen to scroll down through all my comments and see it. Um, if you just make a comment on the video, then I can see that. So. Um, anyways, let's get into it here. So he says, There have been thousands of religions throughout human history, many of them claiming to be the only one true religion. Uh, from an outside perspective, any one particular religion claim to be the only one true belief system is hardly much more offensive than all the other religious beliefs. So I would say claiming that salvation can only come through Christianity shouldn't be that offensive. Um, okay, yeah, I agree with that, except uh, uh, salvation only uh, through Christ uh, alone, the Son of God. Um, he claimed to be the, the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father but through him, who Christ uh, crucified for our sins. Um, his blood washes away our sins. He preached a message of reconciliation where we could be reconciled or have our relationship restored with our Heavenly Father. So, but you also claim that you need to warn other people and about what will happen to them if they don't believe in your particular religion. Um, about that, do you feel like I need to warn others? You know, it, it wouldn't be, would it be loving to not warn anyone? So say, um, say there was a particular drinking fountain and you were at this big venue and you knew that the water coming out of that was poison uh, and it would kill people and you just sat there and didn't say anything or do anything or try to stop anybody or warn them would that be loving uh, to just let them drink it because you didn't want to offend them or you know what I mean so I would think that um, the power of Christ compels us. Um, if we are true believers, then we should um, want others to know and hear the truth so that they also might be saved from their sins and be reconciled back to the Father. Um, so it's not belief in a religion. I know what you mean, uh, but just to specify, it's... Uh, belief in the Son of God, and that belief doesn't, I'm sorry, I'm trying to get something off my screen, it's annoying me, so it's not trying to give anyone a seizure there, uh, <laughs> but um, where was I, so it's not a particular religion, I, I guess I, I know what you mean by uh, religion, um, the whole uh, true uh, Christianity, many, many religions claim to be Christianity or Christian, um, but there is only one way, and that's through the Son of God. Um, so if they don't believe in your religion, I'd say if they don't believe in, uh, in the Son of God, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and you will be saved. Um, so belief, and belief without, uh, faith without works is dead, and Jesus said, if you love me, you'll obey me. So belief entails uh, following, being obedient to, um, to what he taught to him. Um, if you say you believe and you don't have works, I mean, you don't, you don't believe. First off, uh, you can probably relax because quite a large portion of now living humans have actually heard about Christianity. Um, I think a lot of people have heard about people are 
things that claim to be true Christianity. I say true because there's so many different ones out there, and the majority of them um, are teach not only incorrectly, but the opposite of what the Bible actually says and what Jesus taught. And what Paul taught and what the the apostles taught. Um, the portion that's never heard. So that's why um, I specify on that and have a little distinction. Um, so when you say I've heard about Christianity, well, people... There's like 40,000 different denominations, and so people uh, have heard about that, but a lot of people I've talked to are do not agree with Christianity as a whole from what they've experienced because they say everyone's just a bunch of hypocrites in the churches. So, and the Bible speaks to that. It says the name of uh, God is blasphemed among the Gentiles because of you, and it's referring to um, people that are claiming to be followers of Christ, and yet they are not. They're they're hypocrites. So you know, go to go to church on Sunday and then party like everybody else on the on the rest of the days. You know what I mean? So um, Christ, true Christianity is uh, you're you're dying to your old self and being resurrected with Christ. It's no longer you that live, but it's Christ that lives within you. So you're not the person that you were. Um, you turn away from sin and you follow your Savior. So if that was the case, I mean, people are preaching holiness or, and, and saying you must repent, and, and yet they're um, out there at the bar every night drinking away, getting drunk, and hitting on other people's wives, and all kinds of stuff, you know, lying and cheating to get ahead, whatever, you know. Um, and the portion that never heard of Christianity are probably easier found outside of YouTube. Well, YouTube reaches a lot of people, so, um, yeah, I hear what you're saying, though, yeah. Secondly, by stating that other people who have already heard about Christianity and have chosen not to believe in it must be corrected, you, in a way, insult their intelligence and personal integrity. Um, I could see how people could get offended, Yes, uh, but being offended is there's just no room for that anywhere. The whole it all it all should come down to I mean what is being offended I don't even get that. Someone insults uh, your your pride of oh I, I I this is something that I know I mean I I I just don't see how how you get offended. You know, who cares if someone disagrees with you or maybe questions your culture or your beliefs or your religion or anything? Who cares? As the only arriving at the truth should matter. So it's not my intention to insult anyone's intelligence or personal integrity, but calling out um, false Christianity or warning people um, as Christ did, then ultimately, if they're in darkness... Um, shining the light on them and showing them the way is 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 more loving. And then uh, to not tell someone, hey, that water's poison just because you think you might offend them or they might be offended. That, that, that's, I don't know. I, obviously, I never meant to uh, offend anyone. And if you're, if you're preaching um, Christ to people, Christ and Him crucified and, and risen, um, We should be with the utmost humility and respect, you know, never um, condescending or anything like that, putting people down or so. So by in no means do I, uh, no way do I mean to ever insult people's intelligence and personal integrity. Um, I'm very certain that you are an intelligent person. Um, that's, that's up for debate. Uh, that's very kind of you. Um, my Probably very average, if anything. Other people might be just as intelligent. I'm sure most people are more, way more intelligent and come to the conclusion that a completely different religion is true or that none of them are. Okay, so... Um, I don't know, intelligence might be an actual hindrance to coming to um, a conclusion... 
Jesus taught about um, uses the, the the foolish things of this world to confound the wise, and the message of the cross is, is foolishness to those that are perishing. Um, also, I think it talked about not trying to um, convince people with with fine sounding arguments or anything like that. But it's some a certain kind of a humility. I mean, I think with some people, um, can put a lot of stock in what they think they know, and they're not willing to change or hear somebody out on anything else. And I, I would, I hope I'm not in that camp. I I would always want to hear people out on what their their thoughts are or their beliefs are. Um, one should be able to hold multiple. Um, beliefs in their mind and then weigh them you know weigh them out is this is this is this true and search for the search for truth you know but you shouldn't automatically just discount someone comes up with you and has says hey um, you're wrong and this is why well automatically I think our nature is to put up that hey I'm wrong oh no I'm not you know um put up that wall, get offended or whatever. And that's, I think we should all be willing to listen to the other side. We shouldn't just, hey, I, that's the way I was raised, so that's what I believe, and that's, I'm not changing. That's not a good reason. So if they come to a completely different religion, or the, come to a conclusion that a completely different religion is true, and none of them are, um, so, I mean, it's basically like saying, so if they believe, they've come to the conclusion that drinking that water isn't going to poison them. But I have uh, I've seen it poisoning people and they're dying. Um, I still have to warn them. Probably not the most perfect analogy, but we'll go with that. Um, they might be wrong. However, it is also theoretically possible that your beliefs are wrong. Uh, yeah, I believe wrong before. Um, I, the creator of the universe cannot be wrong, though, and, and his message uh, revealed through uh, Jesus Christ is not wrong. So the way I say it or other people that claim to be Christians could be wrong. That's why you need to come to Christ and work out your salvation with uh, fear and, and trembling, you know? That's what we should all be having, that uh, humility, the desire to learn, to understand, to make sure we are right no matter what. So it's not it's not on me. Each individual has their own, um, has their own path. They, you're ultimately responsible for your decisions that you make, but... Um, you're also responsible for rejecting other people that try to come and help you. So any any decision is going to benefit you or um, possibly not. So I understand you want to save other people from destruction and from suffering your deity's judgment. Yes, well... That is uh, pretty much what does it profit a man if he gain the whole world and yet forfeit his soul? So, to warn others that yes, um, the creator of the world is uh, sent his son to reconcile us back to him. So, we're at you're an enemy of God in your sin. And uh, walking in lawlessness and wickedness, you're you are literally God's enemy, and He's going to destroy you. And yet He sent His Son to um, bring you back with terms of peace, and follow Him, and you will be reconciled back to the Father through His Son, and you can become a joint heir with uh, with Jesus Christ. And have a resurrected, be resurrected like he was. So it's pretty awesome. I mean, there's not really anywhere there's like, this is like bad news. It's all good news. Well, um, if you're an enemy of God, that's kind of bad news. And being, uh, having, facing judgment 
is pretty bad news. But the good news is, man, we can be forgiven of our sins and we can uh, be reconciled back to God. Um, but you are really sure, but are you really sure the best way to do that is by repeating what they already know and stating that they are wrong? Um, no, I'm not sure. Uh, I just, I put it out there because I was, I thought I was a Christian before. So a lot of people think they were Christian, think they are Christians or thought what they believed was Christianity. And, um, and I'm referring to Christianity as what the way that Jesus taught, um, and his disciples, not uh, Protestantism or Baptists or Lutherans or Calvinists or Catholics or Mormons or Jehovah's Witnesses or um, any of those uh, that claim to be Christians. I mean, so I think that's such a broad brush that's painted now that people, I would say even the majority of people in the so-called churches have no clue what it actually means to be a Christian to be a follower of Christ, to be a disciple of Christ. So, I mean, I I was there. I was I grew up in the Baptist church and most of the things I was taught were not only wrong but the opposite of what the Bible actually teaches. So, there's like a, this Christianese type you know, this language that you learn and you get kind of taught and most of the teachings are all this, the same thing and they're just kind of, it's, and it's contrary to what the Bible says everywhere. But when you read it, you just reinterpret the scriptures to what, to what you've been taught. So, yes, I would, I would say that helping people to understand the truth of the scriptures and what true Christianity is, and then they can come to a knowledge of the truth. But if you just uh, throwing deception out there, and they become a false convert because the message was false, because um, they they're hearing about a different Jesus and a different gospel, and that gospel can't save you. So if anyone preaches another gospel or another Jesus, let them be accursed. And there is lots of other Jesuses and lots of other gospels being preached out there that are completely contrary to what Christ and his apostles taught. So uh, they might not know the true message. In fact, most, I would say that, yeah, most of them in, in the church or that have come out of the church, most people just are done with Christianity after they grow up and they're like, hey, they're all just a bunch of hypocrites in there, you know. And I was. They they are. I was, you know. <laughs> so that's why I'm trying to tell tell people about the truth. So think of all the different religions that you do not believe in. All of them. <laughs> Would you actually start believing in any of them just because someone said something about the religion that you already knew and by stating that you are wrong? Mm. Would you actually start believing in any of them? Man, I don't know if I'm just tired or I'm having a hard time um, real, uh, f figuring out what this says here. Uh, let's see. Think of the different religions that you did not believe in. Okay, uh, all of them. Would you actually start believing in any of them just because someone said something about that religion that you already knew and by stating you're wrong? Oh, I see what he's saying. Um, so probably not. I would hope in in uh, in humility and a willingness to come to the knowledge of the truth that I would be willing to listen to that person. And if I could not um, reconcile what they were saying with the the scriptures, and or if I couldn't reconcile what I believed to be true and they were, were able to demonstrate that, hey, you are wrong, um, this is the truth of the matter, then yeah, and if we're not willing to 
change what we believe when evidence is presented or when then what good is that if we're, if we're just so hardened or so prideful or so uh, set in our ways that we're not willing to listen to anyone else to even even if something ridiculous um, so, something that goes against what we've been taught our entire lives and someone comes up and says hey you know what, such and such you know and you're just like oh that's the stupidest thing I've ever heard but you've never actually looked into what they're telling you you just build a wall up automatically and just uh, ridicule that person or mock them for what they're telling you and I hope I would I wouldn't be like that you know uh, lastly, if you believe in a deity who has actually created the universe and who is a somewhat good person, um, well, not a somewhat good person, a uh, perfectly good person, um, spirit, as well as an at least moderately proficient communicator, um, perfect in every way then why would that deity need the help from any particular person on earth to communicate with any other human? Um, doesn't need help. Um, that deity, the creator of the universe, has revealed himself to all so that they know that he exists and they are without excuse. So what can be known about God is plain to them through the creation. So creation needs a creator if you see an ipad you know that somebody made it so it's plain to everybody that god exists that's very simple it's easy to understand um yeah now don't harden your heart and be like no evolution created everything that's what i was raised that's what i believe that's my religion have you looked into it and maybe the counterclaims to that or have you always just been like Oh, you, as soon as anyone um, questions that, then automatically you, you scoff and mock. And that should be a huge red flag. I mean, if you get angry, if someone, if you have a certain view and then someone brings up a counterpoint to it or questions you, um, if you get angry or you get frustrated, or you get upset, or you start laughing or mocking, those should all be red flags to you. You, I mean, unless it's the absolutely the most ridiculous thing ever, but still, you should treat that other person with respect. And I see a lot of, like, debates and, like, you know, oh, that this person's view is so stupid, they don't deserve anything but contempt and ridicule because they're nothing but charlatans and tricksters or whatever um, so I, I don't agree with that I think we should all we should respect um, people and treat one another with love and, and kindness there's there's times for speaking um, always straightforwardly with people but you don't have to be rude about it and How's that gonna? How's your message going to appear when you're condescending, and you're arrogant, and you're, uh, you know, um, ad homininging, attacking the other person, putting them down, and mocking them? Um, you might be right, but if that is your attitude, and that's you, it's just kind of a put off. You know, no one really wants to hear that or see that from another person. I guess no I shouldn't say no one wants to I mean, there's our people out there that, like they're that's you know they're rooting for their side and if they can like see the other guy get humiliated or something then yeah that's cool you know um let's see so moderately proficient communicator yes God has given us everything we need uh, that pertains to life and godliness in the scriptures revealing his plan of salvation for us uh, and it says what does it say how lovely are the feet of those 
on the mountains who bring good news. Um, you can know about God, but not his uh, plan of salvation through his son. So um, he does, does God need anything? Does he need help? Um, no, but has he set it up that way? Uh, yes. So, I mean, how will people hear if they're not told? And how will people tell if they're not sent? And um, so, yeah, just like the, the poison water. I mean, if no one's going to tell them, hey, that's poison or whatever. Sure, God can um, come down and, and just do whatever he can do whatever he wants really but he hasn't set it up that way so um uh, communication is important that's how we talk and that's that's the way it's been set up to for us to go into all the world and spread the message about christ and that's been going on ever since you know he came two thousand years ago um so the message has been going out, and it's it is through other people. So you look at Cornelius um, in the Bible, and he was a righteous man. Um, he knew about God, but yet uh, Apostle Paul uh, was sent to him to reveal to teach him the the gospel message through which he could be saved. So, um, yeah, and that's and that's how it is, you know. So I want to thank. Anders Gustafsson, thank you uh, for your comment. I appreciate it. I really do like uh, discussing um, biblical um, topics and uh, about God. It's just it, I am passionate about it, and that, that's pretty much all should be my life right there. Is just um, wanting to help others and warn them and hopefully snatch some out of the fire you know um cause uh we don't know how much time we got we could literally die with our next breath is not guaranteed and I've had people die around me recently and, and it hits people hard for a while, a while I think they like they look at their lives and be like man especially if it's a younger person that dies and like oh that could have been me you know I know when we're young we think we're invincible and we're not gonna die ever and then when death comes around us and we're like whoa it's kind of a reality check you know but uh, I think I've rambled on enough here guys um, with everything you know don't take what i'm saying on face value you know um don't believe just whatever you're taught look into things and don't just like go to the experts because there's a lot of experts out there supposedly that will lead you astray and there's a lot of pastors out there that will lead you astray and there's a lot of false teachers and false religions and false gospels and false messages and false uh, Jesus's and false gods and so you have to be really aware because people are out there and they're looking to destroy you and cause you to fall and cause you to stumble and cause you to not find the truth and that's fact check true so that being said my friends I hope you have a wonderful day uh, seek the truth while you can um be reconciled to God through his son. And we'll talk more. Have a great day. See you next time.